Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 33 of Direwolf20 Server Play Series. What's going on? I'm uh, on Forgecraft 1, as you probably should not be surprised by now. If you're confused about that part of this series, then you need to start watching from the beginning. Um, but what I'm doing is uh, getting ready to set up this nifty little villager spawner thing, just to see what's all involved and how well it works. I have no idea how this is going to go. Uh, it could go terribly well or terribly bad. I don't know. But uh, here to help me out, I've got... Uh, who's on TeamSpeak with us? We've got uh, Xenophobe. We haven't seen him in Hi. a while. What's going on, Xeno? Nothing. Nothing. Same old, same old. I'm so oh. exciting, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you make so here. With your wit. Hello. And I think Neptune Pink is like busy ish, but kind of in and out. He's like idling, lurking, uh, stalking, kind of. Oh, he he's even building know. stuff. Oh, what you making? A new base, that's all. Oh, okay, cool. Maybe I'll come visit. So, you know, do you have a base on the server, or is this like your first time logging in? Because I know you were just running this around. Might, it, it might as well be my first time. Cool. Because I, I had a base on the original, but I don't anymore. So now I have to wander around aimlessly until I find a place where I can settle. Yeah, hunker down, call home. Okay, so I'm doing a proof of concept to figure out if you can throw safari nets with villagers inside the mfr auto spawner and if you'll wind up getting some cool stuff from them so uh here's the deal um i know the auto spawner has uh, exact copy yes or exact copy no are options and what that'll do is it'll make an exact copy of whatever villager you get so you know like if you have a tree breeding villager you'll always get a tree breeding villager and they might always have the same trades available but i'm not 100 percent certain about that um Soren might know. I don't know. Do you know Soren? I was looking at your car. Okay, cool. Well, I've got one bucket's worth of mob essence in here, and I'm going to put the safari net in. Um, maybe I should set up just to be, like, super careful about it. I'm going to turn this thing off, and now it's no longer there, and we've got the safari net reusable in there. Remove the redstone signal, and we should get villagers. And it's idling. We've got essence in there. Once the idle timer ticks down, which is like, what, 10 seconds or so, we should see villagers spawn. Maybe? Oh, yes. Hello, Mistcraft villager. What's up? Oh, wow. Thomcraft villager. Ooh, nice. Forestry villager. Awesome. And that drained all of our mob essence. So what do we get here? One, two, three, four, five, six villagers from a bucket of mob essence. That's not bad, honestly. I kind of like that method more so than just building a bunch of, you know, wooden doors. Like, I'm, you could probably argue, like, hey, Dyer, that's overpowered. You just got six villagers from one bucket of mob essence. Do you know how much effort it's been to get mob essence going? It has not been easy. Um, I mean, vanilla spawning mechanics is just like a bunch of wooden doors and you're done right so i don't know in terms of overpoweredness i got a question if it's really that bad but this is kind of cool i'm gonna throw another bucket in there and see what we get it's no longer idle Ooh, more miscraft villagers excellent oh i like this and there's something i really want from miscraft villagers by the way i'm gonna like keep an eye out for it the reason I wanted villagers was, well, twofold. Um, I want tree villagers, because uh, these guys in green that do the, the tree stuff, they'll sometimes sell you saplings, and you can get some pretty nice saplings, like advanced tree, you know, extra trees. I don't know if extra tree saplings are sold by villagers. Do you know that, Soren, by chance? No, I have no idea, uh, actually. You should know things more. I don't know villagers. I don't do trading. You don't know much, apparently. Oh, what are you selling? Safari net single use. That's Ouch. Interesting. I'm coding here, sir. Are Making you? A nice little gateway. Oh, these must be MFR villagers. I didn't know MFR had villagers. See? You can MFR single Safari net, huh? Safari net single use versus Safari net single use. It is a mystery. I don't know what that does. <laughs> it's a mystery. It's apparently a very big mystery, because I don't know about it. I'm confused. Uh. Yeah. So maybe I want to build some kind of villager sorting system. I'm probably going to get to that, you know, at some point. But I'd like to... I don't know. You, you, you sound kind of ambivalent about it. 
I'm a little bit ambivalent about it. I'm ambivalent about not knowing what it is. Uh, what I'm thinking is maybe like build a villager sorting system that instead of just selecting which type of villager I want, because like obviously I'd like a couple different kinds. I wouldn't mind a Thalmcraft villager hanging out. I wouldn't mind a few Mistcraft villagers, of course. What I can do is just build like an entire sorting system where different villagers land in different pens, and then anytime anybody on the server wants to access those villagers, they can just you know come out, visit my house, and be like, hey, there's Dyer's villager farm, and uh, you know peruse the wares as it were you might want to rephrase pretty much this entire section of your <laughs> what's wrong with that <laughs> you're talking about accessing villagers and perusing their wares <laughs> give me a yes. break perusing their wares they sell things and people are gonna oh, come right, buy them right the things that they sell of course what Way what, to go what, now. <laughs> what is going on now i'm confused completely <laughs> <laughs> Suggestive dialogue. Not at all. Oh, wow. oh Zeno, I've missed you. Clearly, Zeno is to the wrong audience. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a terrible person. It's true. Oh, this guy buys silicon? That's interesting. I didn't know that. This guy will put Bane of Arthropods 2 on for three emeralds. That's not even worth one emerald. Sorry, buddy. No, it's not. Bane of Arthropods, give me a break. Come on, don't you want to kill all the things? I want to kill all the things, not all the spiders. I like, who needs help killing spiders anyway? To do, very, well... very giant spiders. M. Dio already did that, <laughs> Neptune. I need you to be aware. Have you seen These the spiders, spiders in the nether? Yeah, don't go to the nether, Zeno. I'll tell you have a sword and armor. M. Dio's got, like, spiders riding on skeletons, riding on spiders that shoot creepers out of their mouth. And... Nitro creepers. No, seriously, have you been to the Nether? No, not not since recently. I have not gone to the Nether with uh, Natura or uh, Construct. Yeah, you probably need to go to the Nether and cry. That's what's going to happen when you go to the Nether. Oh. Security actually made it scary. Which is, it's which is cool. really kind of scary. I don't know how to make anything that... M diode. Uh, none of this stuff is memorized to me, and apparently I forgot to install any eye, so I'm, I might have to be back in just a second. How did you not install any eye? I thought oh, it was I like, no. Uh, open up your inventory, hit T. Really? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Dyer's it's config. Are my configs first. still on the server? How is yeah, this even I'm possible? Yeah, that one. But it's a client one, so no one's going to change Why it are my server. configs still on the server? I'm going to remake them and put those on the server. Wow, Just so you all know, here's like what happened, days. YouTube audience, who may not know the story of why my configs are on the server, apparently. All right, number one, I guess the key bindings are stored in the config file. Number two, yes. Slowpoke updated his configs and did a move instead of a copy, so all the configs were gone. And I said, oh, I'll be a nice guy and just put the configs back. Well, I use different than the <laughs> default configs for things, so, you know, like, my hotkeys are a little different. Like, I personally feel like, all right... E is how you open your inventory, so T is therefore how you turn on and off any I. It's all, like, you know, done with the left hand. I don't have to, like, reach all the way over to O. I mean, that's way across the keyboard. Give me a break. Lazy? Um, lazy or smart? Your call. Not? <laughs> yeah, well, I hate Trav, and I don't reach across for anything. I set as much to the left side of my keyboard as possible. I try precisely. and turn off any I. <laughs> Zeno's... Oh, well, I turn off any eye. If I'm filming, I like to have like a clean interface. Like, granted, I usually leave any eye on half the time as it is anyway. But I try and you know, if I want to show something or have it look a little bit nicer, it just it's nice to turn off every now and then. Yeah, plus, there is I a mean, creeper like... in our house. I, I did from. not. Okay, I'll go handle I'm... it. Did you leave our back door open? No. I feel like you did. Doran always leaves the back door no. open. Take back that however door? you will. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness, I have a lot of editing to do already. <laughs> like you edit. Yeah, I get to edit. No, I, I'll try. <laughs> try, offer the word. It's not easy to remember to do every time. Alright, um, I will be back in a minute, guys. I want to wait for a little bit more of the alberries to cook up, but in the meantime, I'm going to start coming back here and show you, um, like, this is where I'm going to place my my alveary setup. This is what I'm thinking. Dun, 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 dun. So very first alveary getting made here. Pretty happy about that. Anytime you get to alvearies, you're pretty much in good shape. Um, so there's a couple things I'm going to want to do with these alvearies, though. So 
Give me a few minutes. I'll be back. Um, I need to make sure I have all the stuff that I want. And I'll see you in a minute. And we are back. I've got some silk wisps. Yay. Nine of which will get me this nifty little gadget right here. Uh, so I'm making these specifically because I need them for the Alviary CEV or sieve. Um, this tool is going to be exceptionally useful for us like right away because it's kind of half the reason I'm building an Alviary. So I need an Alviary. I need iron ingots. Okay. Also, I'm running our chunk destroyer, Soren, just because. Okay. I need more stuff. Oh, I don't have enough of these. Okay, that's awesome. I have, like, barely just enough to get by on this. That should do. Yeah, apparently my jungle bees, I, like, didn't leave in long enough. Well, I kind of did. I, I did leave in long enough, but, like, barely long enough. I should probably put them back because they do create a semi-rare resource that we don't really get a lot of. Maybe I'll just, you know, now that I have the mechanics to do so, I'll get rid of their evilness. All right, so I've got that, that, and I'm going to need some of that. Slabs, good to go, and the sieve. I'm going to go ahead and just make three of them. Oh, that just occurred to me that there might be a big problem right now. I really need more jungle beads. Because I need more silk wisps. I need more of these things. These are actually part of this build. All right, so definitely need more jungle bees. Where's my jungle bees? Over there. Really? I should have... Ah! All right, tropical princess, tropical drone. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so you guys are here. What I should probably check real quick is what traits they already have. Bealizer, hook me up. Tropical princess is none of the traits I want. Awesome. Okay, then. Uh, so I'm going to need to do everything to this bee. So what do we got here? We got the inoculator. I'm going to need nocturnal and fast productivity at the very least because it's slower. Okay. So I'll do um, fast productivity on this side and I'll do nocturnal over here. And they're both excellent quality, so we're in good shape. And while I'm at it, just to be like nice to people, I'm going to put effect cancellation serum into my synthesizer. This way I'll get rid of that poison effect so that people walking by don't get poisoned. How nice of a guy am I? All right, mm -hmm. over here. Don't answer that, Zorn. <laughs> There's like a conception like on YouTube sometimes that I'm like mean to Zorn, and I'm so not. You do have this <laughs> tendency when you're being sarcastic, it just sounds like you're being completely serious. Do I? Do I have dry humor? Is that what I have? See, right there, you're doing it again. <laughs> it was not. I can't tell that, sarcastic. that was not sarcastic at all. <laughs> I love you, Dyer. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> Zeno's like one of the first modders I ever got to really know. By the way, I think EE three was or EE e one and EE two were like the first like you know mods that like I really got into and really got to know the mod author. Like you were like one of the first guys I really got to know, buddy. Dude, I was, I was so honored, I'm going to be honest with you, because I'd seen, like, some of the stuff that you did after you got started, I realized that it was, like, a really big deal and that you were getting popular, and it just uh, kind of blew my mind that people actually enjoyed it, so it was, it was nice. Well, thank you. All right, so what I'm going to do here, very first thing is I'm going to put this woven silk in here, and this should help collect some of the pollen. So what we're going to see here, guys, is instead of the bees automatically pollinating these trees okay so which they're doing right now by the way uh incoming fps lag Yoink. Oh, man. hello trees how's it going um so in fact i might want to chop some of these down because i might even have like some cool stuff like papaya sapling somewhere papaya really papaya papaya and then you can have the papaya mar oh this is tropicraft huh no nope really papaya nope, this is, is all um, now of course you Oh, papayas are wow. one by one, so I have a sapling, and I'm good to go, buddy. I'm excited for that. 
But uh, that's okay. I'm going to leave these things set up here uh, on purpose just because, you know, I want to have more interesting things. All right, let's put some of this stuff away in here. I'm going to plant our papaya that I just got. So this thing should, and we'll come back in a minute and check on it, start collecting pollen. So instead of them automatically, like right now what's happening is bees are picking up pollen from one tree and automatically placing it on another tree randomly. So like you might wind up with like this sapling, you know, hitting this over here or something like that, right? Uh, what's going to happen is now the bees are going to pick up um, the, the, the stuff and then they're just going to deposit it in here. Well, more exactly in here. So, I've got a papaya tree, Mr. Soren. And are you still trying to build this wacky contraption? I'm almost getting closer. You're getting closer to trying, or you are trying? <laughs> we are almost making progress. Well, that's good. I am <laughs> typing code for it, so. Nice. Okay myself a couple grafters so I can get more of these but I've got the papaya sapling awesome in fact I'm just gonna plant this guy right over here bone meal him up oh that's cool oh papayas are like uh, oh neat they're like um, whatchamacallits yeah those things yeah uh, cocoa They're like cocoa, I guess. You know what I mean? In what way? In the way that they're like hanging off the tree. Oh, okay. Pap papayas taste nothing like cocoa, sir. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like, oh, <laughs> that sounds way off, but okay. No, no, you know what I mean. Like they, like, you know how cocoa oh, beans? Yeah. yeah, now you know what I mean. Yeah, how they grow. grow. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that those are papayas, I don't know. I'm we should ask Pahimar. He is the Papayamar. <laughs> Does he grow on a tree? He should. He definitely should. We need more Papayamars. So no, I, like I guess I need to, fanboy. like, I'm going to plant this over here. My little victory papaya sapling. Can I bone mill these things? That's the question. Yep, those are definitely papayas. And I'm guessing, you know, if I had to wager a guess here, I'm thinking that's how we get papaya mar. Oh. One does um, not simply get papaya mar. No, one does not. So, Soren, I'm going to chop down some of the lemon trees over in our farm over here, and I'm going to plant papayas instead. I'm thinking we'll actually be able to get, like, a pretty good distribution of stuff, too. But I have no idea how they grow, like... So, I'm just going to be careful about it. All right, YouTube audience, I'll be back in a minute, and hopefully by the time I get back, I will have uh, planted some papaya trees and had the opportunity to show you what I'm talking about with this whole, you know, pollen thing. All right, be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Um, one thing I wanted to note to you that I did not is that the alveary, you need to have a bee in. Um, so we're not going to get anything in here until the bee is actually in the alveary. So what's going to happen is these bees will continue to pollinate the nearby trees automatically, but these bees, this one in particular, will um, you know just do its thing you know and collect the pollen right in here. So that's the deal with that. I forgot about that. Um, so going to put away my nocturnal and fast and I'm currently pulling off the uh, effect cancellation and the rainfall serum for my tropical bees there we not enough power to operate okay that's a problem I know what's happening here I am just draining power like crazy there you go yeah oh we're also joined um, by a couple newbies showed up on vent here what's up Morvi? I'm a newbie, a newbie. now. <laughs> New to today's Apparently. episode. <laughs> Hello, I YouTube. like that. Yes. New to today's episode, Morvi. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mist, I think, showed up too, right? Day. Nope, I'm right. not here. 
Not here? Okay, fair enough. Alright, I'm gonna go swap this stuff out. One sec. Oh, you're low. So are you. My, oh my, I'm draining lots of power from our whole network here. You know why? I think these are off. Yeah, they are. I don't think we need that much of our steam turbine running. There we go. That'll help out a little bit. Um, what did I want to pull off next? I've got this stuff going. I've got this stuff going. I know what I want to do. I want to plant my papaya mar trees. Like, I think I think what Sengir needs to do with the papaya sapling is just put a sub, um, you know, little sub word text thingy that says papaya mar. <laughs> and he's on IRC. I should tell him to get in here and hang out instead of being a bum. So I'm just gonna plant yes. some of these around. Somebody, somebody, tell Pahamar to get in here so I can tease him about yeah, Papaya Mar. Tell him to be in here instead of being a grumpy goat and getting mad about things that he should honestly not, not care about. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, which we won't go into. That's right. Sorry, YouTube. Nothing exciting. <laughs> I assure you, it's nothing impressive or fun or meaningful. And I'm planting a bunch of these things so that hopefully we get some good stuff. All right, we've got a couple of papaya mar trees. I get the feeling we could have a much denser population of these too, so we should be getting a lot more juice out of it. So you're doing your thing. I'm really interested to see if this farm works out. Oh, you know what I need to do? I also have to automate the alviary. I did not do that. So I've got a couple basic exports. I've got a precision export. I'm probably gonna need one of them. Import, sure, why not? Basic imports, I don't even know what I need anymore. That should do. Missing paper, why are you missing paper on a book? You should not be having a problem making paper. You should be crafting paper, you should know how to do that. Oh, did somebody break this? Did I break this? I broke it with my mind. I might have broken it. Maybe. I, wait, what are we breaking? That is one confident psychic. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very confused psychic. What are we talking <laughs> about now? What'd you break? My telekinesis destroys all I think. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I have go. destroyed everything, except that one. We are so out of power everywhere. It's okay, though. What are you doing? What do you got on your head now? All the Redstone things? Redstoner's hat, because I'm working with Redstone. Oh, okay. <laughs> every episode, every episode, Soren's like, I got a different hat. Look at me. He's a fashionista. <laughs> oh, look, I got a uh, jungle pollen. Nice. Oh, okay. yeah. That's awesome. I like can that. Can I wear this on my head? You can do whatever jungle you want, pollen? buddy. Yeah, pollen for uh, jungle stuff. All right, so I need to export and import. No, so why would he want to wear guy. jungle pollen on his head? Why not? Because he's Soren. I don't know. He would wear anything. Oh, okay. That, Come on, man. Come on. that makes sense. Yeah. With the times. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Somebody tell Benny I can't shift click with his interfaces open because it ruins my inventory every way. All right, YouTube, I'll be back in a few minutes. I have to wait for a few serums to clean up and probably just one or two little things to finish before I can move on to the next piece of what I want to make. So I'll be back in a minute. And I'm back. Let's see. I have import and export buses, right? Basic, precision export, precision export, precision import. All right, I want the precision export bus to go right yoink, there. And the precision import bus, sure, why not, right there. Okay, uh, export bus will be exporting industrious princesses and industrious drones. Okay, and you, you just do everything, I imagine. All the things. Fine. Do all the things. Import Yay. everything. All right, so I'm going to put you in here and you in here. Oh, you know what? They're probably going to go right. Yeah, they are. Get out of here. I didn't want that to go there for now. Let's clear this out because this is going to become jungle. So, then I have another basic import that I'm going to hook up in a minute here, but we'll be checking that out in a minute. Let's see. 
You come down here. And, hopefully... Oh, good. It's working. See? Pulling out pollen. Pulling out stringy combs. Perfect. I like it. And we're keeping the drones and the queen going. Good. Now, the only other thing I might want to pull out is jungle pollen. Don't know if this is going to work. We're going to find out right now. Basic import bus. Can you pull out automatically from the alveolary sieve? I'm not seeing... Not seeing this happening. Do you happen to know, Mist? Which? The alveolary sieve, can you automatically pull out of it? I've not tried. Alright, well we're going to get rid of this and we're going to try the old-fashioned way. Stick a build craft pipe next to it, see if it does anything. That's exactly what I was doing. Ah, there you go. One step ahead. <laughs> I don't know, I was kind of already doing it before you said anything, so I feel like uh, I yeah, yeah, keep you. in mind <laughs> uh, well, keep in mind that anytime you remove pollen from it, it's going to destroy the silk right right mesh okay, who's does it, it destroy it or does it damage it? That's the question. And no, wooden pipes do not work. So now for my next trick. Oh. Dun dun dun. Hey. What's up? Get this to work. Yeah. Okay. Now I just need to make it listen for red sound signal and voila. Alright, here goes nothing. Oh man, turtle that suck even comes back as false. So turtles can't roll out of there. Yourself. Yeah, I have to I have to do that manually? That's hard. I, yeah, I think it was very much set up to be manual only. He's like challenges. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Be, be uh, thankful this. there isn't like a rotating text box capture that you have to enter every time you want to withdraw something from it. Yeah, that would be terrible. All right, so woven silk, collecting jungle pollen. Pretty pleased about that. Can't automate it. Going to have to come up with something to steal from there. There's got to be something you can do. I guess it's just not eyesighted aware, right? That's basically what's happening right now. I'm going to try Neptune's thingy in a bit, though. I'm going to check out my papaha mob trees. All right, nothing fancy going on over there. All right, guys, I guess I can't automate this. Um, Miss, does it destroy the silk when you pull the item out, or does it just damage it? Destroy. Oh, it destroys it. So I need a new silk for every, I guess, I want to wait till all four fill up, and then I'll get a new silk in there, which is why yeah. I'm working on jungle bees. Oh, good. Tropical drone. Tropical princess. All right, so let's analyze, or let's look at these guys in the in the analyzer real quick. Bealizer, what do we got? I've got uh, fast speed, no effect, nocturnal, and flyer. Perfect. I should really automate that whole setup so that like I can put a couple bees in and then just boom straight down the line. Uh, it'll it'll get applied to all the way across. That would be cool. I think I might do that in an upcoming episode. Just a complete, like, purely automated make everything perfect on the B for me. All right, guys, I will be right back. All right, guys, I think we've hit the wrapping up point of the video, but Soren wants to show us his little contraption. Oh. Press the button. Press the button. Are you sure? I was till you asked that question. Oh, look at that. Now, does pressing the button again close it, or is there a delay? Oh, delay. Now you need to make this come up so that it's flush with the ground. Challenge uh, proposed. It won't because that will have water on it. I don't care. Water will be flowing on it. You don't want it flowing everywhere. So that's what's going to happen here, basically? Like, you're going to do, like, what, that or something? Yep, and then the water flows across it, and then there's a little stairway here to walk into. Okay. 
So it looks like it looks like this, but it has the back thingy, and there's water flowing all across these blocks. Is that what's happening? Yep. All right. That looks neat. This is just a skeleton for me to work with. Where is this going to lead? This will lead from our house to here to B room, and then possibly somewhere over here. Underground. Okay. Sounds pretty cool. We should build a. Looking at this thing just reminds me of the of the wither spawner that we built last season on the server. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we should build another one like that. All right, guys. Like I said, we got to wrap up the episode. So Direwolf20 signing off episode 33. Hope you enjoyed it. Where'd all my villagers go? Did a zombie get into my villagers? That's okay. It's not like they're, like, you know, terribly terrible. I'm guessing that's what happened. Yeah, that's totally what happened, isn't it? A zombie got in here. Poor villagers. Are zombies there? <laughs> Well, I assume, like, all my villagers are gone. I can only assume, you know, zombies are the cause. Probably, yeah. Or Endermen. Or both. Joint venture. Most likely can Endermen pick up villagers? They can now. And, uh, now that awesome. you've said something. <laughs> oh, good. More villagers are back. In Dyer's last video, they decided they need to start doing that, so. Sweet. All right, guys. So like I said, we got to wrap up the episode. So hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to protect my villagers now. Um, Protecting them is good. Yeah. What's this blue shirt guy? What's he do? He trades silver nuggets for copper nuggets. So I'm pretty sure that's the Tinker's Construct one, maybe. And a lot of like Safari Net upgrades, like a lot of them. Not terrible, though. Cool. And a couple uh, Thumbcraft ones. We can get emeralds out of amber. Excellent. So yeah, future episode, gonna mess with villagers, gonna build like a little shopping mall type thing. Um, Soren's <laughs> working on some crazy redstone contraption that I don't understand. By the way, like this mob spawning system is completely decimating our wheat farm. So we need to either like have more wheat or come up with another way to get mob essence because we had like 7,000 wheat and then I said, all right, I'm gonna hook up this uh, export bus here. And then like the next day we had zero wheat. <laughs> so our, our our wheat farm is not nearly keeping up with the demand of, you know, what we've got. Anyway, guys, this is Direwolf20 signing off. I have to move some of this over here. Take it easy.